In a series of tweets, the president announced a ban on transgender people serving in the U.S. military. News Channel 8's Ryan Hughes joining us now live from McDill Air Force Base in South Tampa. And Ryan, this reverses a decision by President Barack Obama, and the change really has set off an emotional reaction on both sides of this issue. It certainly has. Good evening to you, Keith. President Barack Obama, he pushed for a big change in these policies and now a big step back. It'll certainly affect members here at McDill Air Force Base and elsewhere around the world. It was a swift and divisive decision by President Donald Trump. I kind of was surprised and, and caught off a little. Retired Air Force Colonel Jim Borishuk lives in Dover. He didn't expect yep. to see the president make the call to ban transgender people from the military so quickly, considering General James Mattis was in the process of reviewing it. On Twitter, the president wrote in part, Please be advised the United States government will not accept or allow transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. He cited medical costs and the disruptions. Warshuk welcomes it from an operational standpoint. We can't afford to have somebody who's going through a transgender gender transition who is constantly um, lined off and have to remain in a recovery situation. It is blatant discrimination. Nathan Broomer is transgender and served in the Florida National Guard. It's, it's just a slap in the face to the troops to wake up this morning to this kind of news over tweet. A study commissioned by the Department of Defense shows between 1,300 and 6,600 transgender people serve in the military and have minimal impact. Broomer sees the ban as politics at play. To use that kind of rhetoric when speaking to Americans, whether you're in the military uh, or not, um, is so offensive. Now, I emailed Senator Bill Nelson's office late today and just got a response back. He said anyone who meets the military's qualifications should serve. I also emailed Senator Marco Rubio's office, but Keith, no response as of news time. And Ryan, what's the uh, timetable on this? I mean, will transgender people in the military be forced out right away? Well, at a press conference late today, Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said that's still being worked out by the Department of Defense and the White House. Keith? Ryan, here's live in South Tampa. Thank you. So what do you think about the president's decision to ban military members from serving? Uh, you can share your thoughts right now on our Facebook page or download our News Channel 8 app and weigh in on the homepage.